By the looks of these family photos, David Fagenbaum has it all. A medical degree and an MBA from the University of Pennsylvania. A beautiful wife and a job that keeps his creative juices flowing. Then, these pictures telling a much different story. One of a rare and deadly disease with no cure. Right now we are fighting really a mysterious enemy and it's very difficult to fight something that you don't know what you're fighting against. David has a condition called idiopathic multicentric Castleman disease. It causes his immune system to attack his major organs. It has a name, but what experts don't know is what causes it or how to stop it. Right now it's estimated that there's 5,000 new cases a year of Castleman disease in the U.S., which would make it as rare or as common as ALS. David had his first episode with Castleman's as a third-year medical student landing him in the ICU. Four other near-death relapses and chemotherapy would follow. Flu-like symptoms early on, um, my lymph nodes begin to enlarge. Um, and then pretty soon my organs start to fail. So my liver, my kidneys, and my bone marrow shut down. And when that happens, that's just, that's not compatible with life. In fact, his family was told to say their goodbyes. The second one um, was maybe the, the, the most, uh, the closest I came to death. And that was when I had my last rites administered to me in November of 2010. David refuses to use the term borrowed time, but says right now he's in overtime and still very much in the game. With Castleman's, there's a 65% five-year survival rate. It's been five and a half years since David's diagnosis. Those are more dendritic cells in there. Though David has a medical pain. degree, he doesn't treat um, patients due to um, his condition, but works as a researcher on the faculty at Penn in the hematology oncology division. It's here in his lab where he puts in long hours hoping for a breakthrough. Nice. Thank you very much, Ian. David is determined to figure out so why his immune system goes into overdrive and how to prevent it. There we are. Just that determination is nothing new. Just ask his sister Gina, who lives in Raleigh. She knew from the very beginning, Dave was something special. He's so kind and he's so compassionate and empathetic. And he's able to um, relate to any situation and to anyone that he's with. And he has the ability, I think, to make whoever is with him at the time feel so special. A gift Gina says he got from their mother, Anne Marie Fagenbaum. She passed away from a brain tumor in 2004. In 2006, David started National Students of AMF, which stands for Ailing Mothers and Fathers. It's also his mom's initials. The nonprofit supports grieving college students. She was the ultimate role model for me, and I learned so much from her about overcoming adversity. Um, and, and trying to be the person that I am today. They uh, accept 5% of papers. That now, in David's fight, uh, he's bringing the together the most brilliant minds and research to find a cure. He co-founded the Castleman Disease Collaborative Network, CDCN. The network isn't typical. Instead of waiting for researchers to find them, it recruits the best people for the job, making the most of their time and money. We've now gone around the world and we're specifically recruiting the top expert to do each one of our studies. For now, David's treatment consists of daily medication and monthly infusions. And even while he's being treated, he's working. So I guess I'm interested to get on this day meeting with his mentor and former Penn Med School Dean, Arthur Rubenstein. And he's interacted with people all over the world, uh, including pharmaceutical companies, not for profit organizations universities, medical schools, scientists, and physicians to try to bring the best knowledge they have uh, to further our understanding and treatment of this uh, very serious problem. A problem standing between David and the future he dreams of with his wife, Caitlin. I want to have kids and I, and I, I want to do a lot of things. And, um, and, and in order to do those things, we've got to knock this disease out the proteins in the blood. He wants to find a and cure, not just for himself, again, but for everyone waiting, um, depending so, um, on his research. From when I, when I had that relapse. And this it's is my, my life's work to take this disease out for a lot of other people too. As I've grown the Castman's network and been involved in Castman's research, I've met a lot of parents of patients, I've met a lot of patients, and um, I've got a lot of friends with Castleman disease, and, uh, and I, I've decided to commit my life to trying to figure this thing out for all of us.